I look and think, wow, it's, this is week 23 that we've been doing this study in Romans. It's been over a year since we started the In Him Scripture study, and it's passed just like, just, just quickly. I can't, I can't say this enough. Thank you, partners, for all that you do, sowing into this ministry, helping us give this word, the God's word away all over this planet. Everywhere we go, we see people receiving what they need to be strong in Him, not in religion, not in our self-righteousness, but in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And partners, you got a big part in that. You know, God calls people to get behind a ministry so that the Word gets out, so that people are able to to hear things unhindered. See, we don't, we don't, we don't charge for anything that we do on this podcast. In our website, on the ministry, we go to churches and detention centers and and ministries and and go all over. And every time we get a, a an invitation, you know, a lot of times people say, "Well, we don't have the budget." I don't ask for no budget. I don't. I don't ask for anything to come and do what God has called me to do, and that's to give his word away because he gave it to me, and I want to give it away to everybody that will listen. And partners, you got a big part in us being able to do that. Thank you. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Now, listen. Uh, this this sto- this study that we're doing started March the thirtieth, but go back all the way to June twenty first of twenty one and listen to this entire thing because it 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 ended the 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 card that we give away. We went through that entire card and then started into Romans, and then we're going to go on to the rest of Paul's epistles and teaching people who they are, or who they can be in Christ Jesus. So listen, start at the beginning. Download this phone app and start from the beginning, June the 21st of 2021, and get hold of who God has made you to be in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. And don't forget, don't forget, the Lord loves you. He cares for you and wants more than anything in the world to see you strong in Him. Find out who God says you are. Forget about what religion says and find out what God's Word says to you, for you, and about you. You know, Paul wanted the Ephesians to to come to a place that they understood the love and the mercy and the grace and the goodness that God had for them. And that's the reason I do these podcasts. I want the world to see and understand the love that God has for each and every person that walks the face of this planet, that no matter what they've done, God loves them and is standing with open arms wanting them to come to him. Paul said in Ephesians 1.15, says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith, in the Lord Jesus, and your love for God's people everywhere. I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And and the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. 
Ephesians 3, 14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the Creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through His mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to Him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I've got something that I want to never, never, ever forget. And that is the love that God has written down for me to live in. And I get it from His Word every day of my life. And and it thrills me to be able to do this every five days a week, Monday through Friday, and do these prayers so others can see and understand that love. He gives me that love through the truth in His Word, and I pray that the world comes to find that love in Him, in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and what He has placed us in to receive God's love. Let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your Word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory, and I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus Holy name I pray. Amen. Okay, Romans, the 15th chapter and the fourth verse. Now listen to this. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the Scriptures might have hope. Now I want to read this in the Amplified Classic in the New Living Translation. The New Living Translation says, says, Such things were written in the Scriptures long ago to teach us, and the Scriptures give us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently for God's promises to be fulfilled. It says, uh, the Amplified Classic says, Whatever was thus written in former days was written for our instruction that for our steadfast and patience, endurance, and the encouragement drawn from the Scriptures might hold fast to and cherish hope. You say, well, what's, what, what are you getting at? I'm going to tell you something that, that, is, so, that is so evident in, in my life in the last five or six, seven years that that hope, that assurance that that I have gotten over the years has come directly, di- directly out of the Word, God's Word. I have sat under some great teachers. I'm talking about uh, uh, my former pastor. I don't go there anymore, but my former pastor was, is one of the best teachers that you will ever sit under and 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 study but you know people people go to to places and i i don't i don't want to i don't want to put any kind of uh uh amplification or or glorify any man above what he really is and that's just a man and that's including myself but I that my pastor today, I mean, our pastor today is a great teacher. But what I want want us all to understand is we have assurance in God's word, not in a man's ability to to orate something, to to get something across to you that that the that God has given him, and that's including me. 
But these truths that God has written down for us, we have a, a library of stories in this book that we can go back into the Old Testament and and talk about all the things that God brought his people through and how that they that it worked out for them and 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 how that they took the persecution that was thrown at them and 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 lived in it and walked through it and said no God's going to make my way he's going to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and and they th- that hope that assurance that that those people were were given God so fit to write that story down so that you and I could draw from it, could live in it. And and I talk all, all the time, the name of this, this ministry, this podcast is The Prodigal Son, but I talk all the time about uh, Luke 15, 11 through 24, the story of the prodigal son. But the... The biggest emphasis that I use in that story is not the prodigal son, but what the the father, what the father done when the prodigal son come home, the love that the that the father showed him. And that one story has been a has been a rock that I've stood on for years. Because, you know, you look at circumstance, you look at the way some people do. And somewhere along the line, you keep your eyes on man, you keep your eyes on circumstance, you keep your eyes on what's going on around you, you'll forget what God has already done for you. I've never, I've heard, never heard anything any wiser than, than for somebody to say, you know, don't pay attention to what's going on because what, what's going on may cause you to forget what God has already done. You know, they talk about, I've ter- I heard a preacher one time talk about, said, said, uh, said people get so wound up on an ailment, on, on one little thing that, that is just off kilter in their body, a sickness. And, and, the, and they forget to give God praise for all the health that they have everywhere else in their body. And, and and all the times that he's healed them in the past, they forget about it. And that one little ailment draws them off into talk what we've been talking about, talking about all the things that's wrong, all the things that could go wrong or will go wrong. I heard my daughter. <laughs> and it, it, it's funny how that that things just, you know, they pop up in people's lives and 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 there's this person in our life that just they they're they're oozing with fear and doubt and just basically unbelief. They're a Christian, don't get me wrong, but but they don't speak the way we speak. And and we were talking. My daughter and my wife was talking to this person and talking about this going to the Kelsey was going to a, a, a youth camp with the church and they was going to the lake and, and, and before you know it, my, my wife kind of laughed. She said, before, before we sat down there another five minutes, we heard that she is going to get snake bit, uh, swallowed by a big old catfish or drowned because she didn't have a life jacket on. And, and that's so sad. And, and, and my daughter and my wife said, no, that ain't going to happen. I, you know, I, no, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing that. But yet the person that they're dealing with just kept on about it. Instead of taking a hint and saying, Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I did. I, I got off on the on the on the bad side of what could happen instead of looking at the good side of what has happened your entire life and that, that God has kept you safe and He's He's nourished you and He's helped you and He's loved you. See, we can get into a place that the world will fall in on us and overtake us because we've not put our minds and our hearts into God's Word to to sow God's Word so deep down in our hearts that we have those assurances that God has written down. 
for uh, for us to stand in, and and those stories of of uh, perseverance and faith that the, that the people of the Bible has lived through and walked in. Glory to God! It that thrills me to see that happen in my family's life. My my daughter, while I was laughing about, my daughter was telling one of her little friends what had happened, and she said, "You know, I'm not receiving that." I'm I'm safe and sound, and I'm not going to have to worry about all that mess. And she don't have to. Why? Because she knows where she stands with God. Let me read this again. It says that Rome, Romans fifteen four said, "Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures of the scriptures might have hope. Hope in what?" Hope in God's word, assurances in God's word that what he said in his word is true. And he's going to handle those things that, that pop up in our lives, that, that come against us and push us to feel like, oh, no, you know, the world's coming to end. No, no, that ain't what God wants. We've got the assurance in God's word that, that, that we are overcomers. John 16, 33 said it. Jesus said, in this world, you're going to have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Now, if I am in Christ Jesus, if he is my Lord and Savior, I am in him. And in him, I am the same overcomer that he is. And and I'm going to stand in that. I'm going to believe that. I'm going to stand when all hell's breaking loose and say, my God shall supply all my needs, physically, spiritually, financially, whatever it may be, God is going to supply all my needs so that I can be victorious in him. Because when I'm victorious in him, others see the things that go on in my life and see that, bless God, he takes care of them. I'm going to believe him to take care of me. And he does. You see what I'm talking about? This world is in a, in a bad place. And I don't want me, my family, or you, or anybody else in this world to lose hope, lose assurance that we have in God's Word, in the truth of God's Word. So so stand with me today. Believe what God's Word says. Stand on, on who you are in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and walk in those truths. And don't let the circumstance of this world, don't let your position in life push you away from knowing who you are in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. So listen to me now. I do this every time we do this podcast. I want because I don't. I want to make it, make sure everyone has an opportunity to make Jesus Christ Lord of their life. Romans ten and nine says, "If you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, it says, Thou shalt be saved." It says, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. Won't you be born again? There's millions of people all over this planet that believe in Jesus, believe what he done, believe that he died and rose again on the third day to justify them. But they've never taken the time to invite him in to be Lord of their life, never made him Lord and Savior of their life. Ask him today. Confess Jesus as Lord of your life today and watch him change your life forever. Now listen, go to the website. It's the-prodigalson.com. If you've got a prayer request, send it to me because I will send you scriptures that you and I both can stand on and agree on that God's got an answer for your prayer. I know he does. I know he does, and he will answer it with his word. He'll answer it with his word. I'm going to send you what God's word says about those prayer requests. Download this podcast or this podcast phone app, rather, and 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 get all these podcasts coming to your mobile phone so that you can hear them 
uh, all you want to do, free of charge every day, six days a week, they come out. And there's enough on there that you want to listen to them seven days a week, you can, and you'll never get behind because six of them a week comes out. And that right now at the time of this podcast, there's over 1,200. 1,200 podcasts recorded and ready for download so that you can get what God's Word says. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. Now, if you're a partner of this ministry, from the bottom of my heart, partners, thank you for all that you do, sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give His Word away free of charge all over this planet. And partners, you're helping us do that. You're helping us do what God has commissioned us to do. And that is to give his word away, to give his love away, to see people's lives change through the truth in his words. Thank you, partners, for all you do, all you're doing and all you have done in this in this ministry today. Go to our website. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. It's the dash prodigal son dot com.